and oh, what a fantastic smell. What an incredible smell you've discovered. I think someone is having second thoughts about getting in the water. Yeah, it's kind of cold. <laughs> say, say that again. I don't like cold water. It's cold. Hey guys, uh, Getaway Nation, hang tight. We wanna, we're gonna go over where we going? our, um, we're gonna go crazy is where we're going. But this, this campground really does suck. It really does suck. I mean, and it was bound to happen in our two, little over two years of full-time travel. And sooner or later, we were gonna come across a campground that was bad, and this is it. set up here at the uh, Palm Southern Palm Southern Palm RV Resort and I use those words loosely <laughs> loosely but this is an encore camp and this our, our encore campground and this is only our second encore we've stayed at mm -hmm. getaway nation I got to tell you you got to let me know are these some tight quarters these are probably the tightest spots we've ever been in ever you know some of you have more experience than we do when it comes to traveling but this is definitely a tight location. In Getaway Nation, I want you to tell me what you think. But, so here we go. You can see there's not a lot of room over here. There are some spots here, if you've never been to uh, this Encore Park, there are spots that have room outside that'll allow you to set up either a fence area for your dogs or set up an area for you to hang out but we're re getting ready to roll out today and uh we're gonna go to i think it's williston florida it's about an hour and a half drive we're going to the springs the devil's den i think it's called devil's den spring we're gonna check it out it looks really exciting so is this tight i'm sure some of you have been in tighter locations and that's why some of you also prefer to boondock because you don't have to worry about this so far the first couple nights have been I'm trying to be nice. It's been a little noisy, but it is what it is. So, all right, let's roll out. got here checked in <laughs> you got <you. laughs> there are a few there are a few rules you have to adhere to when you uh, come over here we'll go over those later but for now we're gonna go ahead and go jump in some water we gotta get in water let's, let's go. get in water <laughs> I just <laughs> I find it funny that's all I can't snorkel. We are not snorkeling. I cannot snorkel. I just can't get used to it. 
So, uh, you know, I, I think I'm just gonna like maybe jump in a little bit. Yeah. Let's tell them about our fantastic experience at the Devil's Den. You mean my experience of watching you get in? <laughs> I got in. I cannot snorkel. I've been snorkeling one time, and that was when we got married. Yes. Back in Hawaii. In, in Hawaii, 30 some years ago. Mm -hmm. I think I need practice because I just can't grasp the concept of it. And I know it seems simple and easy enough, but for me it wasn't. So I just got in a little bit, but it was cold. It was so cold, I thought my heart was going to pop. <laughs> I think someone is having second thoughts about getting in the water. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cold. <laughs> say, say that again. I don't like cold water. It's cold. <laughs> They say it's 72 degrees, I'm sure it is, but it was it was cool. It was still pretty neat. It's you, beautiful. It, it is. It's very tranquil. It's like, I, like going into a different world. It was it was gorgeous. But I, we would definitely recommend this, so it was pretty cool. This is Even a great though, place. And then they have the gardens right attached to this right next door, so you can go there and check that out. Yeah, well, it was pretty, I mean, so you know, pretty. it was still pretty cool to do. You know? Well, so he's leaving tomorrow. But that's a trip right. there. Before it was a white car. What's that? That was a a white car why is there a big white truck there because that's his truck he probably took his truck somewhere there he's leaving uh, tomorrow so know? he's because i saw the tag in his window uh, okay. he's leaving the first okay. hey guys uh getaway nation hang tight we want to we're going to go over where we going? our um we're going to go crazy is where we're going we're going to roll out tomorrow morning from the southern palms Encore, and I refuse to call it resort. It's a campground. It's not a resort. It is a resort. No, it's not a very nice. No, room. it's not a resort. It I refuse is. to call it a resort. But we're leaving tomorrow, and we're going to kind of go over the campground real quick, just to let you know why. Um, I, we're not, I'm not crazy about this. I don't know if I could speak for you. I'm not crazy about it either, but. Okay, it's not as bad as it was when we first got here. I think it's the area, this specific street that we're on, which I cannot think of the name of the street right now. Iris. Thank you. Once again, if you look here, you'll see this rig showed up uh, today. Uh, you can see this is our spot right here. <coughs> and if you go over here, you can see just how tight this is. This fellow's got his truck here and there's not a lot of room there. But so let me just show you what we're looking at. So when you look over here, you see what's going on over here. This was the fella that came in earlier, got his rig in there, but this is the street view. When you look at some of these sites, they're very tight. And then there are sites where they have more room to set things up. This you can see- got, Well, he got fortunate because you can't use this space in here as a site because the tree's in the center. It's a good so point. So he got lucky that he can utilize a little bit of that space to the side. So if you can get spot 660 off Iris Street, you end up with exactly what Katrina or, said. It's a good point. Or 658. It, yes. Which, Either one. Right. And you could see that if you have a smaller rig, you'll have more room in front to make things work. The bigger the rig, the more difficult it is to get everything to work. So this was all filled up when we got here but 10 days ago. And if you take a look at this spot, for example, here on the end, I think these folks have maybe annuals or seasonals or, but they got a nice spot here on the end, which is nice. I mean, you have road traffic. If you don't mind the road, tra the noise, because on the other side of this fence right here is a, uh, just two lane, I guess. Yeah. As you go down some of these streets over here, you'll see how narrow these streets are as opposed to our street which was the wider of the street. But you take a look at that down there. See how narrow that is? Yeah. It's much tighter. The campground does have a dog park area, but it's way on the other end. And by the time we would walk Tucker over there, he would be tired and ready to come back. He wouldn't even want to play the yeah. dog park. I don't recall seeing a recreational area for the kids to play. So the kids were playing right out on the street, no fault of their own, because there's really no no playground area, if you will. A court, I, basketball court or anything. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything. I've seen is the uh, the pool area, and then they have two pickleball, well, actually one pickleball court, but it's on the other side of the highway in another section. When I got here, um, and you know, I've since learned from a few of people that if you get to a, a place like Encore or someplace like this and you're not happy, say something to them and you know, the worst they can do is say no. Just tell them you want to go to another site. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to start any problems, any troubles, so I kind of just 
what went with it. But now in hindsight, I should have said something because if you look across the street here, we're not going to walk all the way across the street, but over on the other side is another large section. That's the section you want to go to if you can get in there. I think it's called the Pines. Yeah, I think you're right. And it seemed to, to us when we drove around, there was more room over there. But we also seem to think that that might be the area that they're not as willing to, sp if you're a Thousand Trail member, they're going to put you in the less desirable spots first. At least that's our, our that's thought. Our impression. We'll right. walk down one of these rows just to give you a little bit more of a feel of the I think, sites. I think this, this row though, the sites are a little nicer and wider. Like this road right here is a two lane. This is wider probably than our road right here. This is the widest street. But this is far. the main drag coming in. Yeah. If you come over here, yeah. you don't, it's tight, but it doesn't, it's nowhere near as tight as our section. No, now see our roof could have fit like that. And then we could have put our Jeep there and we could have had an area. And right, and you can the see they, they marked the spots by the white line over right. there and there. And you could tell just how wide this site right here is. We've talked to a few people who've been here and they'll say, oh, I had a nice site. I had plenty of room. Unlike us, you know, we had no room, no room to set up. No. So it's going to vary. So that's a chance you're going to take. And once again, this is all based on our experience and my experience of this place. I, I would I would not come back. Let's they take a look at this gym that's at the resort. Yeah, this is this is a this, this is, is a this resort gym. This is their gym. All right, it's a little tight. I can hardly breathe with the whatever this. It's kind of a funky, is, musky, and a, almost like, a moldy set yeah, smell. It does. It smells like mold, and the thing is, it looks like there's no AC in here. There's literally fa a fan here for when you're working out, so. I mean, look, it is a gym, but for a resort, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe we're just. You, you tell us, you know, if it's kind of small, but it'll do. So if you need something to work out, it'll work. Do you want to see laundry first? Um, yeah, we can look at the laundry real quick. The laundry actually is, is a nice size. Looks like they also got some commercial grade. They do, and that's awesome. Right. So it's that's a good nice thing. Nice and big, yeah. That's right. really nice. Back here is your shuffleboard area. Now, all over in the back is a hall that they use for events. Special events, little get-togethers that they have here at the park. Yeah. A little community fire pit. I'm not going to show you the bathrooms. I'll tell you they're decent. They're nice. They're clean. Plenty of hot water and plenty of pressure, which are uh, really nice. So there's your pool area. Hot tub over there on the end. This has a tendency to fill up pretty quick. There's a, there's a lot of people staying here. So um, if you don't come early or come in around two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon when some people leave, you're probably not gonna find a spot. This campground is huge, a lot, but you get the standard. Yeah, there's a couple of different sections, but most of them, if not all of them still have the mobile homes um, in each section. Now on the other side of this campground, on the yeah. other side of these cottages or trailers over there is a fairground. It's a fairground. Yeah. Now while we were here, they had an event one night. The music was loud till 11 o'clock. It was crazy loud. It's a concert. No, but I, don't think, I don't know if it's a concert or if it's just a no, no. festival. Festival, party, concert. But let me just say, the music is loud, and it was worse before. This is mild, and there's a lot of foul language, and it's... You can hear it throughout the park. We're on the other side, but it's just throughout the entire park, and, not, you know, people are not too happy about it because it's, it's pretty loud. It's very loud. And the question is, how late will they be up? So if it is a concert, it could be into the evening. Just another reason to uh, seriously no, consider. No. It's another reason why we love this resort. <laughs> and oh, what a fantastic smell. What an incredible smell you've discovered. Hey, that's awesome. That Some tobacco? of you love that smell. Is that tobacco? Yeah, I don't think so. This could, from my understanding, this happens, they have events there quite often. Someone did reach out to me on Facebook and mentioned that that wasn't the norm. 
doesn't happen as much. This is crazy. Does oh, this happen all the time? They do a, a, a market once a. Um, they do it like a farmer's market every Thursday at right. 8 a.m. It opens That's at very 8 popular. Mm -hmm. So far, when it comes to encores, I haven't been crazy about them. You? No, sir. One for three. But uh, we're going to find out later this year because we will hit more of them when we get to the West Coast. We get to Arizona. Yeah, and we've heard a lot of good things about the encores in Arizona. So, similar to what we went through with Thousand Trails to start out with, we were a little bit skeptical. Skeptical. We gave them a chance, and they did up their game and get better. So we'll give encores the benefit of the doubt for now. I'm, I'm being, I'm being much more diplomatic right now than when we first got here. Oh, you were a little upset to yeah. say the least. I was ready to go. I wanted to leave. I looked at Katrina. I said, is there another campground we can go to? Mm -hmm. Something. I don't like it when these campgrounds call themselves resorts and they're not resorts. Just a little, you know, I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. We were supposed to stay for another five days, I think. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, another five days. We're actually leaving early and we're going to another campground, which we'll talk about later. That is kind of a, an overview or a summary, of, of, if you will, of the Southern Palms Encore RV, I'm not gonna say it, beep, campground, campground. Don't, don't you dare say that, no, it's not a resort. All right, guys, well, I can't wait to get out of here. Another fun we're, day. We're gonna go back to the RV, have dinner, Enjoy the evening, and we're going to hightail it out of here. It's the first thing in the morning, as quick and as fast as we can. We need to, we need to go to the grocery store, so we'll leave, and then we'll just park in the uh, park lot and do some grocery shopping. We're going tomorrow. There you go. It all works out. And remember, guys, any day you can get away it's is a, a great day. day. You guys take care. Hope to see you. See you guys. <laughs>